So this tour incorporates Beethoven Ninth Symphony. Uh, it's one of the most famous works ever written and inspiring. Um, it's definitely one of my big inspiration pieces. One of the reasons that I love playing the violin because I get to um, work on pieces like this. Beethoven's Ninth Symphony is actually a really important work in terms of the history of classical music. It's pretty much the first huge work that incorporates the symphony and choral elements together in such a big symphony orchestra. By this stage of Beethoven's life, he was completely deaf. So when the premiere of uh, the symphony finished, uh, one of the sopranos actually had to turn Beethoven physically around to see uh, the audience erupting. Uh, there was actually five standing ovations after the piece and it was gonna go on forever. So the police actually had to break it up, um, which I just think is fantastic. This particular symphony is a, a, the, the best way that I can think of to describe it is an epic mountain journey, I guess, um, which culminates in probably one of the most famous tunes that even non-musicians will instantly recognise, which of, of course is Ode to Joy. The way that it builds and builds and suggests the themes and then it just suddenly comes bursting through, it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty amazing thing. But one of the reasons that I have so much respect and love for, for Beethoven's works is the fact that he speaks to the common person. It's, it's amazing how much Beethoven's music is still used, particularly in political rallies or to inspire and to make people remember the plight of, I guess, the common man. It speaks to everybody. I've always had incredible admiration since I was about 10 years old for the way that the ACO plays and interprets Beethoven. It's, it's so fresh and it's so exciting and I know that that translates incredibly well to the audience. In terms of as far as an adrenaline shot when it comes to classical music, you really can't get much better than this uh, program.